Praise Jesus and Mary. Welcome to Salona. I am Don Fran Bulic, a priest and archaeologist, a long-time director of the Archaeological Museum in Split and a researcher at Salona. Salona was a port of the Delmata tribe. With the conquest of these areas by the Romans, it became the capital of the Roman province of Dalmatia. Like every Roman city, it had ramparts with towers, forum, temples, baths, and other public and private buildings. With the entrance of Christianity into these parts, Salona became the seat of the diocese. That, we can say, was her golden age in her long history. But at the 7th century, with the attacks of the barbarians, Salona was destroyed and citizens of Salona escaped and inhabited the Euclidean Palace and islands Brach and Sholta. We are now located at the Manastirine site outside the city walls where we may found ancient necropola. After the execution of San Duyam, Christians brought his body and buried it at this site. Soon, the whole complex was built there which has several phases of construction. This is certainly the most famous Salonitan locality, not only in Croatia, but in the whole world. Due to the significant results in early Christian archaeology, with my efforts, in 1894, the first International Congress of Early Christian Archaeology was held in Solin and Split. Different types of graves have been found at this site, but the sarcophagus stand out the most. The sarcophagus were the luxury graves, where the important citizens of Salona were buried. Our two most famous sarcophagus were found here. The sarcophagus of Hippolytus and Phaedra, and the sarcophagus of the Good Shepherd. Besides, these three sarcophagus Till nowadays, very well preserved is the first grave of Sanduyam, protector of the city of Split. Next to the basilica at Manastirine, I built a house in 1898 for myself, my hair archaeologist, excavation keepers and for all visitors of Salona. I named it Tusculum, after the place where the famous Roman orator Marco Tullius Ciceron had his villa. The house and the stepladder in the garden are built of fragments that had no place in museum. Therefore, it is very interesting for visitors when coming to Salona. The center of the early Christian Salona is located in the northwestern part of the eastern city extension. In this area, a representative episcopal center was built in the 5th century, with double basilicas, baptistery, catechumen or consignment building and the bishop's palace. The complex of double interconnected basilicas consisted of two longitudinal monumental churches that had a common covered vestibule in the west, an artex. The northern Basilica Urbana, dedicated to Christ and later to the Blessed Virgin Mary, had a congregational function, while the Salon, as a memorial church, was dedicated to local patrons. 
The urban basilica where we are now located is also called the Salonitan Cathedral and it is the largest Dalmatian basilica. It is a free nave basilica in the apse of which there is a bench for the higher clergy and the bishop's chair or sedes. Behind, against the wall, is a bench to the lower clergy. The whole church was decorated with mosaics, frescoes, and furnished with the typical stone furniture of the town. Between those two chairs, mosaic was found, stating that the whole construction began in the period of Bishop Simferie and finished at the period of Bishop Hezekiah. In the 6th century, the episcopal complex was renovated. Then, a new southern basilica was built, in the shape of a Greek cross, and at that place, most probably, two church councils were held, in 530 and 533. North of the cathedral is a baptistery. It is interesting here that lead pipes for delivering water from the Salonitan aqueduct to the baptism well were preserved until the First World War. Unfortunately, during that war, citizens of Solin used it as a material for making rifle lead balls. To the west of the baptistery is a catechumen or consignment building. It is not clear whether religious instruction was held in that building or whether the sacrament of confirmation was administered there. The floor was decorated with mosaics and the most beautiful part was with a depiction of two deers drinking at the spring of life with the inscription from Psalm 42. As a deer longs for a spring of water, so my soul longs for you, God. In the northwest corner of the ancient Salona are the ruins of an amphitheater, a monumental building erected in the second half of the second century. After the construction of the walls, the amphitheater was incorporated into the city's defense system. The amphitheater was built with the financial help of a wealthy donor, most likely a Salonitan. Its capacity was about 17,000 spectators. On the south side of the auditorium was an honorary lodge for the governor of the province and opposite it was a lodge intended for the city magistrates. Ceremonial processions of combatants entered the arena through the main entrances on the western insides. Next to them were cages for beasts. In the center of the arena was the opening of an underground corridor that served to carry the wounded and dead gladiators. In the two rooms below the south auditorium were the shrines of the goddess Nemesis, worshipped by gladiators. After the Salonitan martyrs led by Sanduyan were executed at the amphitheater, these two shrines were converted into Christian oratories. Remains of frescoes depicting martyrs were found in one of them, and they served as a template for the famous mosaic in Rome, in the oratory of St. Venantius, where in 7th century partially relics of Salonitan and Eastern martyrs were brought. By the 17th century, the amphitheater was fairly well preserved, and after the Venetian-Turkish Wars, by order of the Venetian authorities, the amphitheater was demolished. North of the amphitheater was a gladiator cemetery. I have prepared this sarcophagus for myself for my 50th birthday. 
because by that year every man must know where his place will be after he dies. The sarcophagus is originally ancient and was found in Seged. I bought it and gave it to the stonemason Pavle Bilinich, the first teacher of our famous sculptor Ivan Mestrich, to carve it. The lid and the chest are decorated with early Christian motives. And I partly took the words from the early Christian inscription found on Marusinans. Here lies Frane Bulic, a sinner and an unworthy priest. Today, Salona is in ruins, but the Latin proverb says, Saxa locuntur, that is to say, stone speak. Therefore, when you have a chance, feel free to visit Salona.